think we're ready to go. Um, welcome everyone to the Media Center here at the Grant Thornton Invitational. I am pleased to be joined by Lexi Thompson and Ricky Fowler, Fowler our third team of the week. Um, I'll start with a question for you, Lexi. Um, coming back to Tiburon Golf Club, where you've won before, um, how excited are you to play this course again and, and kick off this great team event? Yeah, it's always great to come back to Naples. Um, I love this golf course. It was unfortunate that I wasn't here a few weeks ago, but great to come back here. The hospitality that we receive is always uh, top-notch, and to be able to be part of a team event and be paired up with Ricky and also play this golf course again brings back a lot of good memories and just really hoping for a fun, great week. Ricky, um, after Jess had to pull out of the event, how easy was it for of a decision to pair up with Lexi um, afterwards? Well, she, yeah, she, my partner bailed. Um, <laughs> She's busy. Yeah, so, you know, tried to, tried to talk her in it. Like, you know, you could still, you could still do it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, like, she, she ultimately bailed. So it was a pretty easy decision from there. Um, you know, Jess and I, it worked out. We're obviously close and both GT ambassadors. And uh, so from there I got to, to choose, so. Here I am. Here we are. Um, like Lexi, Lexi said, she uh, she's played well here. Um, not that that went into any decision making, but that's that's a bonus. Um, you know, we've we've played a, a bit together, and being with with Cobra Puma as well, um, just thought it'd be one fun. Um, I don't mind Lexi from uh, from you know a little ways up. She gets to kind of send it out there especially in the the right format so yeah we're gonna have a good time um and see if we can get some stuff going and, and roll with it awesome yeah that leads into my next question for both of you um how do your games complement each other and maybe what's the strategy out there for the two of you uh, i don't know if we've talked too much strategy no, i but think just, saturday is kind of the only yeah the strategy, strategy. kind of day um just play our own games um you know get it down there as close as we can and you know, on the few holes that we do have to lay back on, do that and just give ourselves the best opportunity from the fairway to give ourselves a birdie look. And I know he's an amazing putter, so when it comes to scramble day, you can just make it. <laughs> yeah, make I was going to lean on Lexi a little bit as far as um, knowing the course a bit more, and, and she's played here a lot more recently. Um, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about alternate shot, you know, whether certain tee shots she might like more or dislike. and. Yeah. Try not to overthink it. Just, uh, exactly. yeah, it's going to be fun because we, we really don't get to do this at all. Um, you know, we'll you know, play with Jess a little bit when I'm home. We've played a handful of times over the years, and mm -hmm. it'll be just interesting and, and fun to, to go tee it up together. Awesome. I'd love to uh, open it up to questions here. We can start with Sarah. Mm -hmm. Maybe just for both of you, um, you know, having played together in the past, are there any memories that kind of come come to mind of, of times that you have gotten to play with each other in the past? Uh, I usually, you know, when we are playing the same tees, because there's been a few times Lexi's come up and play with uh, some of us guys, and um, if it's into the wind and um, whether you hit before or after her, just make sure you don't miss it too much because she'll, <laughs> she'll hit it past you. Um, but, no, she obviously... For someone that plays the LPGA Tour, she's she's on the longer side, and I think that's something that you know we can lean on. Um, one, her having past and good experiences here at the golf course. Um, we've seen that she can hang with the boys uh, in Vegas earlier this year. I think she didn't quite live up to her expectations, but I think she um, exceeded everyone else's of what people thought was possible. So now it'll be fun. Um, yeah, I think that was probably the, the biggest takeaway when we've played before is don't miss it. You don't want Lexi to hit past you. <laughs> Lexi, do you think that's kind of a benefit to have that much experience playing? I know you grew up with brothers and things, but, you know, playing alongside some of these guys and even a recreational format, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of a benefit? Yeah, I think it benefits, I guess, a little bit. Um, growing up with my two older brothers and their friends, and, you know, I've played a handful of uh, rounds with these guys, and I enjoy it so much. I mean, I just go out there and, you know, we joke around, but it's just so laid back. But I, we're also, like, learning from each other, too. Like, if I have any questions about shots that they hit or clubs that they hit, like, I know I can pick their brain about it. But um, it's super impressive to watch, I think, from both ends, on both sides of the each tour so it's great to be paired up with them this, this week and i think it'll be great for golf and a lot of fun 
just if you could expand on that a little bit. I know you've played mm -hmm. in previous iterations of this event, but to finally see, you know, Grant Thornton step up and, and really put this event on. I mean, how cool is that for golf? How cool is that for you that has been in every other scenario in women's golf just to see the men and the women finally come together in this kind of way? I think it's truly amazing. I think it just shows how much the game of golf is really growing, especially on the women's side. It, I think this is what golf needs is more team events, especially mixed men and women's. And I think fans will really love it. And we're very grateful for everything that Grant Thornton has done for us this week and brought this event here. I've played in it before it was all this, and it was just me and then Nelly last year. So it was trending in the right direction and to have a fully mixed event. I, I think it's great to see on the golf side. Next. You guys are both obviously players that have been in the limelight or no stranger to pressure. Just kind of wondering an event like this where you get to kind of let that off your back and just have some fun. How much are you looking forward to this week? Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. I mean, team events are always a good time just because you can kind of lean on each other. But it's also some added pressure as well because you want to you want to perform and, and execute, especially when it comes down to alternate shot. Um, and yeah, we have a, a pretty strong field, both on the, the men's and the women's mm -hmm. side. So no one's coming here just to, you know, enjoy s December off season. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, there's a lot of pride at stake as well. So yeah, I, I know we're going to have fun. I think that's part of what's going to be good. And, and for a lot of people watching, whether on site or, or TV, is just to see, um, you know, the camaraderie and, and the guys and the girls just kind of giving it to each other as well as kind of kind of pulling each other and um it, you know like you said we haven't really seen this in in quite a while so to i think from the trash talk to the you know just i think how much fun because there's there's a few like lexi and i know each other pretty well but there's a few that kind of just met this week as well and i think you'll kind of get to see that the friendships that are already there or or starting this week and um, just how enjoyable it'll be for all of us to go mess around and have fun. Same for you? Yeah. Yeah, like Ricky said, of course, it's a fun, different format, um, being part of a team and having the different formats at play for the three days. But we're all golfers. We're very competitive. So we don't want to go out there and not care or just have a fun time. Like, we want to hit good shots. We want to make birdies and um, be the best partner for our teammate alongside us. So... We're out there to play some good golf and um, also have fun doing it. If you hit it in the weeds, I won't be mad. It's fine. Yeah, okay. If, yeah, no sorry. Yeah. <laughs> have we decided on a team name or a motto? Or what, are, what are we going with branding-wise here? We might have to get back to you on that. Yeah, we, we still got... In a moment. Yeah, we, I don't know. We got about 16 hours or so. <laughs> we'll have something, maybe. <laughs> Any down here? One right here. Hi guys, um, you both have kind of had like comeback arcs this year in kind of your own unique ways. I was wondering if you've ever talked about like some of the low moments in golf and shared that with each other, any advice that you've both had for each other? <laughs> I get nothing necessarily like directly. We've, we've played with each other a couple times over the last, you know, two, three years or so. Um, and I think it's just more knowing that, you know, we're there, like Lexi was talking about, she can always, you know, whenever we're playing together or whoever else it is asking or it's it's more just knowing that we're there um, and knowing that you have people around you um, to, you know, lean on if there is something, um, you know, and outside of playing golf, we're around each other at some of the, you know, Cobra Puma shoots and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I would say it hasn't really been anything like directly, but it's just knowing like, hey, if you need something, call me, text me, I'm here, um, and it's a two-way street. Yeah, and I think that's the most important thing, just knowing that you have somebody there to lean on if needed. Um, no direct conversations, but, you know, always having somebody's nice. And, Ricky, obviously there's a lot of news right now in the golf world about John Rahm and, and Liv. Um, I was just wondering, what do you think – if this is, we know it hasn't been confirmed by him directly, but if it is true, what do you think that means for the PGA Tour going forward and maybe a potential domino effect happening there? Honestly, I, I don't know. Um, the amount of information that I have is the same, maybe less than everyone else has. Um, I've been a little bit out of the loop. It was my Pro-Am guys that mentioned that there was something that broke today on John Rom. So um, his decision doesn't affect 
me uh, necessarily, but it'll it'll be interesting to kind of see how things continue to play out. Um, you know, timelines of things with you know the the deal deadline being end of the year. It's hard to really think that goes through just with the timing of it and how much would have to get done between now and then. Um, ultimately, down the road, I, I, division isn't a good thing. Um, so, you know, I'm hopeful things will continue to, to work in the right direction for, for the greater of the game. Um, but what that is, I don't know. I wish I could tell you. Um, you know, we're kind of all in this ride together and then kind of figuring out and learning as we as we go. Uh, how useful is sort of this event during what you called an off season to keep yourself sharp for your 2024 season going forward? Um, you know, for me, since our season, you know, ended in August and then we had Ryder Cup, uh, I've only played um uh, up until last week, I played once after Ryder Cup. It's kind of a nice time to see where things are at, what needs to, you know, be worked on a little bit more, or what needs to, you know, have a little bit more time or emphasis on over the next few weeks to get ready for, for our West Coast swing. Um, you know, our schedule and, and where our timelines are a little bit different than the LPGA Tour. So for me, last week and this week has been nice to maybe try some new stuff. Um, I'm going to do some more testing next week and see if I can kind of keep fine-tuning to get ready for, for January. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I didn't really hear the question. But, um, yeah, this is kind of mid-off season for me, but um, I played my last time about three weeks ago there in Tampa, and I've been practicing ever since. I've played in a bunch of pro-ams since then and just been still practicing because I want to play well here. Um, I'll have a few weeks off after this. We start. I'll start up third week of January. So... I'll take a week or so, maybe off <laughs> after this. Um, it's hard for me to put the clubs away, but it's definitely important to get that rest time and kind of shut down and reset coming into 2024 and make sure that I'm fully ready. But it's definitely nice to come here and put my game at test and know what I have to work on in the off season. Ricky, you know, for both of you guys, the news coming out today obviously is big, but it seems to be a pattern of it, of coming out at a time when is really overshadowing a great opportunity for the LPGA and the PGA Tour. Being a Grant Thornton ambassador as well, do you think that, you know, is it a little disappointing to always see this news come up at a time when other things should really be being highlighted? Uh, I mean, yes and no. I mean, news is going to break kind of, you know, whenever. I don't think sometimes things aren't necessarily planned. Some stuff gets leaked. Um, like I said, I wasn't necessarily aware of it until someone else told me about it so um you know i'm here with lexi this week enjoying um you know what's a a fun week and it's only going to get more fun once we get to tee it up tomorrow um and yeah we'll we'll go out there and, and put on a show and show that we're having a a good time as far as you know all the other stuff that's going around and in, in golf from from live to the tour to golf ball stuff usga rna um yeah we'll We'll worry about that away from the from the golf course or, or next week over you know the little bit of a break. Um, yeah, there's always stuff going on, but yeah, we're gonna go tee it up, have fun, and we'll, we'll figure out the other stuff later. You had mentioned before that a lot of the teams are just meeting each other for the very first time, but you guys have the benefit of knowing each other. Do you remember how you first met the first time that you guys got together? What brought you together? What that was like? I don't remember the yeah, first time. Yeah, I actually time. don't even remember. <laughs> it was probably a Cobra Puma photo shoot. Had to have been. When, or yeah, PGA show, maybe? I never did PGA show. Oh. When did you sign, Not with, PGA when show. Did you sign with CPG? <laughs> I've been with them since 2010. Yeah. So it would have been a Puma shoot because, yep. yeah, <laughs> Cobra didn't. Yeah, so it would have been, yeah, it had to have been a shoot early on in, like, mm -hmm. 2010 or 11. Um, and we've played over those years a handful of times, but been around each other a lot more at, at shoots. Yeah. But, unfortunately, it must have been very memorable for both of us. Yeah, we <laughs> like, I wish don't we remember. had a better story, but we don't. <laughs> Sorry, I asked. <laughs> Luckily, it's both, both ways. Yeah, it's on both sides. <laughs> I'm not just awkwardly not knowing. Anybody else? 
Okay, we'll wrap it up then. Thank you both so much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.